Hi guys, Tom Yam Soup. It's a world famous Thai soup for a reason. Although it looks deceptively simple, it is packed with a bold, citrusy, and savory flavor. And you feel the bursting taste from the fresh Thai herbs and spices with a pop of spicy heat lingering in your mouth. I will show you how to prepare Tom Yam Soup in this video. So let's get right into the details. I usually prepare all the ingredients first before start to cook it. The ingredients can be divided into a few categories. The first one is the aromatics. Lemongrass, coffee lime leaves, galangal. This is the trio of Thai ingredients that forms the base of the Tong Yam flavor. The second group is the stock. Shrimp stock is the best for making tom yam, especially tom yam shrimp soup. Today I'm using shrimp as the main ingredient. Therefore, I'm also using the shrimp heads and the shells to make the stock. Separate the heads and, and the shells from the shrimp meat and clean them thoroughly. The third group is the main ingredients. Shrimp, squid, fish, and chicken are the most common main ingredients. I'm using shrimp in this recipe. Mushrooms always plays second fiddle but are always included. The last group is the seasonings. We use fish sauce, sugar, lime juice, and Thai chili paste to get the balance of the flavor. Cut off the green section of the lemongrass and also the part near to the root. Remove the outer shaft and cut this part on the bias into 3 to 4 sections. For the lime leaves, pluck the leaves and discard the stems. For the galangal, cut it into thin slices. Besides these three ingredients, I also add some garlic and shallot to enhance the flavor. Bring a pot of water to a boil about one and a half liters, and place all the heads and shells into it and boil it for about 15 minutes to extract the flavor. Then pour it through a wire mesh strainer to remove the heads and shells. And there's the stream stock for the tong yam soup. Besides the stream, I also use mushrooms, tomato and Thai chilies in this recipe. I'm using the oyster mushroom, which is quite commonly used for tong yam soup. Tear it into small pieces as it seems a little bit too big. You can also use other mushroom of your choice, such as shiitake mushroom, button mushroom, straw mushroom, or even shimeji mushrooms. As for the tomato, cut it into wedges. These are the Thai chilies, which are essential for any Thai food. They are relatively small, about 2 to 3 inches long, and comes in two colors, red and green. These chilies are fiercely hot, so be prudent if you cannot withstand the heat. Cut off the stem and bash the chilies with the knife, and then cut them into half. As for the coriander, we're going to use the leaves for decoration. And as for the stems, cut it into short sections and add to the soup for more flavor. The sourness of tong yam soup comes from the lime juice. It is easier to work with with those larger lime, as we need about a quarter cup of lime juice for this recipe. 
strain the lime juice through a YMS strainer to remove the pulp and seeds. Once we got everything prepared, now we can start to cook. Bring the shrimp stock to a boil again. Then place the lemongrass, the coffee lime leaves, galangal, garlic and shallot into the boiling water. Simmer for about 15 minutes to extract the flavor. Then I remove these ingredients from the stock. You can leave this inside and proceed to the next step. But I think the amount of these unpalatable ingredients is just too much and therefore I decided to remove it. I will pick some nice looking one to add back to the stock as garnishing at the later stage. Add the mushrooms to the stock. When it returns to a boil again, add the tomato wedges. Followed by the shrimp. And then the coriander stems. This is when you should add all the ingredients into the soup. Now it's time to season the soup. Fish sauce. some sugar and lime juice. The flavor of lime juice can be destroyed by heat and therefore it is best to switch off the stove before adding the lime juice. And return some of the lemongrass, galangal and the lime leaves back to the stock as garnish. Chili paste. This is a Thai chili paste. Okay, it's done. The tong yam soup is now ready. This is the clear version of the tong yam soup. If you prefer a creamier and thicker and spicier version, you need to add two more ingredients. So I have scooped out half of the tong yam soup from the pot and then I'll use the other half in the pot to prepare the creamier version. Add 3 tablespoons of evaporated milk and 2 tablespoons of additional Thai chili paste to the soup. The soup is now become creamier, thicker, the color is much redder and spicier. Do a taste test again as you may need to adjust the taste since you have added some additional milk. Once you are satisfied with the taste, bring it to the boy and serve. I've just shown you how to prepare two types of tong yam soup, the clear soup and the creamy soup. So which one do you like? Leave your answer in the comment section below the video. And if you'd like to try this recipe, I've included it in the description section right below the video. And don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a like. I'll see you in some other similar videos very soon in the future and bye for now.